Well, I just want to lend my voice to the many voices here to say that this deal with Iran is a no. It, 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 put, it makes the world a lot more dangerous. I know we're being told that this, this brings about peace, it stops war. It may bring peace for a short term, but for me, it illuminates the path to a much more deadly and dangerous world and ultimately war. What is your worst fear? In what way does this make it a, a less safe world? I mean, look, Iran is the world's biggest state sponsor of terrorism. I know people have already said, well, how, are, how, are, how is Iran going to attack America? They don't have intercontinental missiles. Look, it was only last week we commemorated the Amiya bombing in Buenos Aires, which Iran was charged for. So with Iran, a state sponsor of terrorism with nuclear weapons, it won the, the threat of terrorism. Secondly, to live in a world of nuclear blackmail and with Iran, the mullahs of Iran with their hand the on that trigger, it, it blurs the line between what we could be in fighting evil. As we look at what seems to be the spread of Islamic jihadist ideology and terror, as somebody who is a member of the Islamic faith, how do you look at the way in which your community has responded to the extremism in the Muslim world? Not well enough. We, we, we're denying it. We're going, this has nothing to do with Islam. We're almost washing our hands of responsibility. And too many people in positions of power are allowing us to. This is a cancer which ultimately has killed more Muslims than anyone else. And until we stand up and go, this is wrong, this is a problem from our community, we have to defend, defeat it, we're going to have problems. We're, we're, we're not going to be able to rid ourselves of it. The first time you and I spoke, it was when you were first making your presence felt in the Jewish world. I asked you then, how does the Muslim world treat you? Are you afraid? Do you ever have to worry for your own safety? And in general, how have you experienced the Islamic community now that you take such a pro-Israel stand? I've got, it's been interesting because there is still the hostility, there is still the same kind of people attacking me, but I've also seen many voices, especially in the last few years, who are sick of the extremism, who want to look at a different way, and that gives me hope. Uh, am I afraid for my safety? No, you know what, what can you do? You, you can get hit by a bus, it's New York, so.